Paul Graham from OptimalBody.ca. Today, I'll be talking about what to do after overeating on a diet. Step number one, pause for a second, take a deep breath in and relax. Almost everybody, when they overeat, blow it out of proportion in their own mind. So the first thing is just to relax and get grounded in reality. Something that some people find helpful is to actually figure out, well, how much did I actually overeat? And oftentimes it's not nearly as bad as what people think. Even if you've overeaten 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 calories, it's not that much when you're actually looking at the big picture. Let's say for a second, if you ate 2,000 calories over your caloric needs where you'd be in energy balance in a day, and you did that for seven days straight, which is a huge amount to go over your caloric balance because most people are burning anywhere from 18 to 2,500 calories a day. So that means you'd be having around 4,000 calories a day, seven days in a row, which is very challenging for most people to do. Even if you did that, that still would only be about four pounds that you're gonna gain, which again, in the grand scheme of things, really isn't that much. So try to relax and put some perspective into it. You can't ruin everything with a meal or a bad day or a bad week or any period of time. Step number two, accept that it happened and move on to being solution focused. Start focusing on holding yourself accountable. What most people tend to do in this situation is fall into a pattern of beating themselves up. This isn't going to help you. This is gonna make the situation a lot harder. Beating yourself up is not accountability. What positive forms of accountability look like is accepting that this happened. You can give yourself time to feel any of the feelings negative that you're feeling. Then start to look if there's any things you need to address or change about your strategy. This doesn't mean having more willpower or you need to be more motivated. Actually look at what you are experiencing. Here's some questions that might help you to better hold yourself accountable and be solution focused. So you could ask yourself, were you getting enough nutritious food before you got off track with your diet? Often people when they're trying to lose weight aren't eating enough nutritious food, which makes it almost impossible for them to actually stick to the way they're eating. Another question that may be helpful, were you feeling deprived leading up to getting off track? Oftentimes people are starting to feel a little bit deprived or not enjoying the way they're eating when they're trying to lose weight. And then this slowly chips away and chips away and then they're using willpower to try to push through this and then inevitably they really go off track. If you were feeling deprived, address this and start to figure out things you can integrate into your plan so that you're not feeling deprived. Again, don't focus on using willpower motivation to push through this. It doesn't work for anybody over the long term. Third question that may be helpful, were you using food to manage emotions? Now, this is a normal thing all of us do, where at times we will use food to manage different emotions. However, if you're noticing this is happening frequently, or if you notice that it's causing you to really get off track, it may benefit you to start to develop more skills to help you better manage emotional eating. Another question that might help you in terms of positive accountability is looking at what your internal dialogue was before you overate. Often people don't, again, slow down to identify what they were experiencing so that they can actually figure out what they need to do better in the future. Instead, they spend a period of time, like I said, beating themselves up and then oh, I'll have more willpower, I'll have more motivation, and they keep repeating the same cycle. So I'd invite you to try something different and try using positive forms of accountability and actually cutting yourself a break. Step number three, don't overcompensate. Oftentimes people will overcompensate getting incredibly strict with their diet after they get off track, then inevitably that's more likely to lead to them repeating that same cycle again. Again, this is where step number one, taking that breath, calming down can help. There's small things that you can do to adjust without needing to overcompensate. So one thing that a lot of people find helpful if you overconsume, once you're starting to get things back on track, just pause and wait to eat until you're actually getting physically hungry again. Sometimes after a day or a night or a couple days of overeating, uh, some people will wind up waiting several hours before they find they're getting hungry. 
And again, you don't need to get to the point where you're starving. Just wait until you're getting stomach grumbling and decent levels of hunger, and then get right back on track with your eating again, essentially listening to your body cues. If in step number two, you identified that what you were doing was working and you weren't feeling deprived and there weren't any adjustments you need to make, then you can get right back to what you were doing before and not stress again about making stricter. However, if in step two, you identified certain things need to change, start implementing that plan with those changes now. Finally, third thing you can do on the next day or couple days after you've overate, really focus on making sure you get enough lean protein, enough vegetables into your diet. Again, this will help to keep you satisfied. It can help to reduce how many calories you're taking in without reducing the quantity of food that you're eating. Finally, step number four, be patient. Most people get in too much of a rush. I know it's really hard because you want to lose weight. You're really set on that goal, but Again, just try to relax, take a breath in, understand it's a learning process to figure out how to lose weight, how to keep that off. It's not just one straight linear path, unfortunately. I've been coaching people for about 15 years now, and I've not had one single client who has a linear weight loss path for a prolonged period of time. There's gonna be ups, there's gonna be downs, and it's okay that things got off track. That's a normal part of the process. The important thing in my experience, is that people learn from that in terms of what they need to do differently moving forward. There you have four practical steps on what to do after you overeat when you're on a diet.